What's up, Baseball Glove Buddies? Dave Wagner, Wagner Baseball Glove Repair, and here's an, a unique type of video. Unique in that I've got a product line to show you. So this is for my man Jeff Bradley, who is making some of the most beautifully assembled, finely crafted baseball gloves I have ever seen. Uh, he works with a company in blah, 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 who manufactures Major League gloves for blah, 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 blah. and his gloves in my opinion hands down beat any others that I have seen produced under small labels okay so what I have here is six of his near and dear to his heart his Bradley 6090 Horween series okay they come in black they come in tan I'm going to move the gloves and introduce them one by one to show you what they are, okay? Hopefully this is a... The camera's, you know, picking everything up. Anyway, so, what we have here is a 12-inch a pitching glove, okay? So, all Horween, okay? Horween shell, deer skin in the palm. Spin that around. How do you not like this? How graceful is that? A uh, little unusual in that a lot of times on gloves these cross, but here they stay on one side. Kind of interesting, two piece, but do it nice and slow here. It's black, I've got a lot of light on everything, but what we see is some extremely high quality leather. The fit and finish is fantastic. All right, 12 inch pitcher's glove. Now we move to a 12 and 3 quarter inch H web. This is a standard outfielder's glove with slightly smaller finger openings. Okay. Same thing. Tremendous workmanship. We have the kind of the gentle embossed pattern. This is the blackout edition. He made these with no writing on them. Uh, kind of cool. I like that. There is no laser en engraving on these, but check out that cool Bradley baseball logo there. It's all embossing, black label. But again, 11 and 3 quarter inch H-Web. We move now to a 12 and a 3 quarter inch Oryx Web. That's what he calls them. Most people would call this kind of an Ichiro style trapeze. Okay. Uh, the number of laces on the top is identical to a Mizuno. If you're looking at it this way, you'll see three, then five, three, then five, okay. Uh, it doesn't have, on this one it's a little different, it doesn't have a drop-down knuckle section. I'll add one. But uh, again, you're talking deer skin on the inside, super high quality fit and finish, all blacked out. So this is the what they call the, what he calls the Oryx trapeze. More standard now, this is the 11 and a half inch iWeb. Now personally, I've worked on a couple of these, the non horween versions, and I, when I was done with the mods, thought they felt nearly identical to the Marucci, Marucci Founder Series 11 and a half inch uh, iWebs. Nearly identical, tremendous fit and finish. Looking smooth, all blacked out. A little different with the way this uh, web is laced. I changed that but so what I'm doing is I'm running through these for Jeff but he asked me to do my break-in work on all of them uh, just to show that these gloves can be playable very smoothly and quickly. Some folks are a little unsure if they can handle Horween. It is a little harder. Okay it is a stiff thick type of leather but he set these off to me to show that they can be made manageable and it doesn't take that long. So this is the 11 and a quarter inch, just the vertical post. Again, we're talking mostly infield here, just like we had infield there. Put that off the side. And the last one I have is uh, just a gorgeous glove. We have the 12 inch pitchers slash small outfielders glove. This is a regular modified trapeze, the teeth style. Lace style on this is the Wilson style, so not an extra set of rings around the edges. Okay, again, fit and finish, excellent. Of all of these, uh, the one thing that seems to be unique 
between them is only one of them, and I'll find it for you, is marked uh, 6090s Horween Elite. The other ones do not have that badging. I don't think that was an oversight. It just may have been, uh, these may have been selected from different batches. So yours that you're looking at online may say, may say 6090 Horween Elite. It may say nothing. It may be full blackout. That's fine. So my job is to take all these, rebuild them, uh, do kind of my mod work, palm adhesive out, extra holes over here for the wrist opening, maybe drop in a rolling style trapeze, heel felt edits, little things like that that can be used and say, hey, look, this Wagner guy can mod out a Bradley, and these Bradleys are serious stuff. And for the price point, really, really, I think, affordable and uh, good to own. You can get one of these from Jeff, I think, for around $225. These are every bit as durable, if not more so, than your $270 uh, Heart of the Hide or a2000 but the ones that i fix up i think are going to be resold at around 275 and i would get about 50 bucks for my work but you don't have to buy the ones for me this is just basically to showcase the quality that i'm getting from jeff and uh how my mods can help so it's kind of a, a combo a combo platter it's kind of a fun process first time i've done something like that with a small company i think it's going to work out great so I'm going to do a review video later that's going to be longer to go into the mods of each glove, but I wanted to present them all at once and just say, Jeff Bradley, A-plus for customer service. And what he's churning out here, folks, this is a cut above a lot of the other brands that you see advertised by a person or a small group. So he's got a really good manufacturer set up. So that's it for now. And, uh, hey, you take care of yourselves. The Lord loves you, so you can make What's it. What's up, Baseball Glove buddies? Dave Wagner, Wagner Baseball Glove Repair. And I'm here with a bunch of Bradleys. It was a, it was a Bradley Horween weekend. Uh, I worked on six of them. These were all sent to me by Jeff. And uh, I'll kind of walk you through what I found. First things first, I have here a Bradley 12 and 3 quarter inch Oryx web. Uh, you might know it more like a six finger or an Ichiro style web. Uh, what are the add-ons for me? Well, the basic ones here, you've got that extender wrist mod to allow a larger hand to get into it. New Tanner's high, Heart of the Hide, 100 pound pull weight lace, a cinch tight loop here, and then basically a stock job. Palm adhesive out, slits to the heel felt, which makes it much more workable, much more usable right now than before. So that's one. Two, we have a Bradley 12 and 3 quarter inch H-Web. And again, similar modifications. You're gonna see a lot of the same things. The extender wrist right here, okay. Cinch tight loop up top. There are pieces of fuzz on these, but oh well, what are you gonna do? And then palm adhesive out, slits to the heel felt, and once again, two fingers over. Pretty usable, so two for two. And then we switch over here to the 12-inch modified trapeze. Now this one's a little more modified. Uh, no palm adhesive, slits to the heel felt, cinch tight loop. <laughs> and I begin to notice as I was doing these, that sometimes I cross these over the right way or the wrong way, depending on who cares. <laughs> I don't really get bent out of shape about it, uh, but I just noticed it kind of randomly. But uh, the further mods on here, yeah, you've got the extender wrist, cinch tight, but on this one, you have, that's a rolling style modified trapeze. Uh, that's switched from the kind of Wilson slash Marucci style that was the original. So you've got the two rows around the edges and then the actual work in between. Uh, these usually provide a little more sag, a little more catching area. It is a pitcher style glove. So that's kind of what I was shooting for. And you, once again, you've got some good closure. So that's, I would say three for three with some improved closure, which was the whole point here. Uh, fourth, we've got the 11 and a half inch iWeb. Same mod, cinch tight, extender wrist. Let me tighten this down here. Uh, three X's as opposed to the double double plus the other 
uh, lace that usually would go through there, palm adhesive out, heel slit, or slits to the heel felt, and the big thing, man, that extender wrist mod on these Bradleys really helps. Bigger hands come and help, help do the job. So, there we go. That's four. Five is the 11 and a quarter inch vertical post web. Same type of mods. Sorry, there's a little, there's like dust on here. Uh, we have palm adhesive out, slits to the heel felt, cinch tight loop, extender wrist over here. And uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Crack Corn in. This one's working. And the last one, we have the 12 inch Bradley pitching web. Heel felt slits, palm adhesive out, extender wrist, cinch tight loop. Uh, I think this pat, yeah, this pattern was for the most part unchanged. I added this pass right here. There. This one. That wasn't in the original. I added that. So I ran it all the way down and through. So it's one, two, three instead of two. Not a big deal. Really like the feel of this particular model as far as how it would come around a ball. And uh, so I wouldn't say any of these. Um, is necessarily game ready. Uh, Horween gloves, you have to understand something. They are stiff. Even after I do everything I can do, and I generally can put my work up against anybody in the country when it comes to breaking in a glove, and uh, it'll hold up. But truth be told, there's still some playing that needs to be done with these. However, with the style of breaking I use, no palm adhesive is in the in the glove and uh, you can definitely use two fingers over you can definitely ask mom or dad to wear it for a little bit which i think is nice because the family that plays together breaks in gloves i don't know <laughs> but uh there it is so very impressive uh workmanship on all of these uh maybe it's the glove for you maybe just a bradley uh nagasaki kip i don't know but uh, if you like Horween, these are going to probably do it. Just know that you're going to work a little harder with Horween than you might with some of their Kip or Steer Hide, okay? But uh, definitely nothing to sneeze at. Very nice quality, good fit and finish. And uh, you can clearly tell Jeff is uh, trying to make some really innovative and nice products for travel players. So kudos, Jeff. Thanks for letting me be a part of... Uh, <laughs> promoting or just trying to figure out how to make these products better and more usable. So it's an honor and pleasure and I thank you very much for it. And I'm sending these back in the mail. So uh, until next time guys, thanks so much and uh, may the Lord bless you and make it a lovely day.